Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Tonight I'm shooting this video with the Note 20 Ultra. I'm checking it out for my YouTube channel to see how it would fit into production, shooting videos and stuff, little little um, desktop experiment I got going on here. The audio is being uh, utilized. I'm utilizing the Buds Live, so we're using the microphone that's way back here. It's not too close to the voice, to the mouth, but it sounds pretty good. You guys be the judge of that. So we're talking about my Gear S3, and I'm going to be switching to the rear camera right now. And this Gear S3, so my battery was giving me fits. It's been three years, and the battery was just going dead on a regular basis. Couldn't make it through the end of the day. Now, I had a little trouble. These screws in the back here, they take a special screwdriver. Now, I bought a battery that came with a screwdriver. But Samsung's been using an extra amount of Loctite on their screws. So I was able to get a couple screws out and then I had to buy a better screwdriver. After I bought the better screwdriver, it still wouldn't pull this screw out. This one I had to drill with a very small drill because it just, it was frozen in there with that Loctite and it wasn't coming out. So anyway, I had to decide, you know, I'm going to get a new watch or am I just going to deal with that screw? So I drilled the head off of it took the rear off, changed the battery, and I've been using this probably 60% of the day and it hasn't even gone down. I'm really surprised. Lately it's been running like 25-30% during the day and I haven't even been charging it for a couple days. Now I did turn off the Bluetooth which helps the battery life and a few other things, things that I'm not using and I'm, I've never had such good battery life with this watch. So, you know, like I said, this watch has really been tough. It's over, it's three years old. And it matches my new Note 20 Ultra. It's got the black going on there. The, the phone is black. My buds are chrome black. And this watch still looks good after three years. And I even use this to wear when I'm doing certain kinds of work. I do take it off when I get into close quarters with things. But it has been very rugged, and I'm liking the focus on this uh, new gear, this new Galaxy 20 Ultra. It's got immediate focus, and it's looking pretty good on the screen. So the battery that I put in, that I changed, this is the size of the battery, and I found it on Amazon. There's several different ones. Some come with toolkits, which is the one I bought. Some come with just the battery, and it's. It's a cool little setup. The battery has its own these little contacts, and I will put a link to the video I watched. I wasn't able to make to continue to make a video on changing this battery because I got delayed, and then I was getting ready to take a trip. So I just needed to get in there, get the head of that screw drilled off, and change that battery. But you know what? For ten, twenty bucks, you can probably put three more years of life into your Galaxy. And Samsung's been updating the watch with software. And I've found that it works really good with my uh, new Note 20 Ultra. And I'm really liking this watch. It's rugged. It's lasted a long time. And it's done me right. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Like I said, I will put a link up here to the video that I watched. I am sorry I didn't get to show you, you know, taking it apart. But there is some good, good ones on YouTube. This uh, watch has really been good. I'm not uh, trying to tell you to buy one. I'm just telling you that it worked great for me. And I'm trying to get used to this uh, Note 20 because I keep looking away from the camera. The camera's over here and I'm looking over there. Sorry about that, guys. But all in all, the focusing on this, keep this uh, Note 20 Ultra is looking good. Catch you on the next one.